Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Capricorn. This is a single reading Capricorn. We just finished with your relationship, so if you guys are interested in seeing what's going on in your connection, look at the playlist. Okay, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I did meditate over these cards that I'm going to use these. And we're going to take a look and see what's going on in your connection. I don't think this reading is going to be long. You never know. I just did a ton of yours. So, Ancestors. Ancestors, please show me Capricorn's individual energy, please. Mm, ancestors. Please show me Capricorn's individual, individual energy. Mm, okay. All right, let me take a look and see what we have going on here. Capricorn, I feel like uh, you have some choices that need to be made with the Seven of Cups card. It talks about you having a ton of choices, right? It talks about you could have some commitment issues. But I kind of feel like you might feel like your choices are limited. And the commitment issues might be with the people you attract. But I also feel like it's your own individual behavior as well. Okay. We have Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is telling us that you are kind of retreating. You're like, I'm, I'm moving back. You might have left somebody recently. This talks about this card upright. Eight of Cups talks about withdrawal. It talks about retreating. It talks about moving on. And it talks about abandonment. So you may have done all the above to somebody. You may have left them um, looking for greener pastures. And that talks about, you know, it tells us a little bit about, about the choices as well. So you might have some commitment issues, right? But you may have... Um, it just looks like you're looking to move on here. You have moved on. Um, it looks like you are still a little confused about something. You may be wanting to know what's going on with somebody. Or this person that you left maybe could have been a figure who you thought was like a spiritual leader. Or somebody who was really stronger or uh, spiritually stronger than you thought. Or you just, I think that you might feel like, um, you might feel like, I don't know, that maybe they're, this person wasn't as traditional as they presented themselves to be. Um, you know, they weren't traditional, perhaps, um, maybe they just weren't, I don't know, maybe the expectations you had of them, like how they presented themselves and what they actually turned out to be is something different. Um, we have the Ace of Wands here. So Ace of Wands is telling us that you are probably trying to give birth to some new inspiration. You're trying to maybe pick up from where you left off on a project or something or something uh, that you're working on. It looks like you are going to try and move towards something you're looking to have new adventures you're looking uh maybe to take on some new projects you might be actively deciding what it is you want to do after that we also have the ace of pentacles here see we have aces so this is this is really talking about something new we have the ace of pentacles this talks about a new job a new raise a promotion or there's some kind of an investment just like i was saying um we have the two of pentacles here so the two of pentacles is pretty much showing us that there are choices and you're weighing options about something you have choices that need to be made. I believe this may have to do with a career because it looks like you may have walked out of a relationship with somebody. Somebody that you maybe um, you weren't satisfied with. It looks like you were maybe let down in something or you were disappointed. One more. Okay. We have the Hermit card. You might be taking your time um, and kind of seeking wisdom about what it is you want. Whenever you look at the Hermit card, you're going to see that, um, you know, taking that time back, you need to let your intuition be your guide. That time, the Hermit card is when you... Uh, take some time, you retreat, figure out what went wrong, what went right, reflect on lessons. Oops, something else wrong. Take it. Maybe I won't because I feel too old. I don't really want to do that. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. I feel like you walked away from something and you're making some choices about what your next move is going to be. It looks like you might really be focused on work. You feel like, I kind of feel like some of you guys feel like maybe this relationship, I don't want to say it was a waste of time, but it really stumped your ambitions. Your ambition. There was something that you... Um, there was some knowledge that you had, or maybe at some point you were some upstanding person and you tend to slack off when you were dealing with whoever you were dealing with. Because I do see knowledge reversed and I see ambition. Two of Pentacles reversed. Hermit card is upright. That's you seeking wisdom. And you're trying to find material happiness, some kind of a new day or something like that. 
All right. Whenever you have the sun card, it's not bad. It's material happiness. It's a joyous outcome and it's success, but it's reversed. So it also talks about delays. Okay. Let me see what your energy is in, in love. Let me use these just to get a little bit of perspective on what you're feeling. Ancestors, tell me some more about Capricorn. Harmony. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're looking for some kind of harmony, a perfect balance, and we do see that that might be a struggle for you because the things, you know, with affairs of the heart, what am I going to do next? It looks like you're, you're looking for some kind of balance and harmony inside, I guess, your life at this point. It looks like after walking away from something or whatever happened here, it looks like you're trying to find some harmony and balance and you're going to uh, move in wisdom. We have peace. Open your heart. You probably walked out of this situation with a closed heart. I don't think you're 100% uh, innocent in this. I don't. But open your heart now. Okay, I think that was reversed. I'm not sure. Hope. Out of darkness comes light. So whatever this change is you made, it might be benefiting you for the better because it looks like there's going to be some material happiness gained after a time of reflection, wisdom. And also we have the hope card here. So something is going to come into light and something is going to be illuminated, maybe about your behaviors or your partner's behaviors, whatever it is or whoever you walked away from. Okay. Um, let me see. All right. So I feel like with harmony, you're looking for that peace. You are opening your heart to receiving. And then there's hope out of darkness comes light. I feel like you might be in a dark place right now after this relationship. I'm not quite sure who's, uh, who's to blame for this, but I think you were, I don't know if this person had commitment issues or you're the feared. I think you might, you might've been the one. I don't know. Mm. I'm moving on. I'm withdrawing. I'm out of here. Ancestors, please show me Capricorn's energy and love, please. Capricorn's energy and love. Ancestors, Capricorn's energy and love. Mm, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. So there's somebody. It might be the person that you just walked away from, or you could be walking into somebody else. Ancestors, give me one more, please, so I can figure out. Okay, soulmate. Yeah, I think you're debating whether or not this person you walked away from is your soulmate. Let's see who we have here. We have water. So water tells us that Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, we have the high four out. That's Taurus energy. Uh, we have wands. We have that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, who else we got here? We have... What else I here? I got the sun card. That's Aries energy. And we got the hermit. That's Virgo. So it could be any one of these folks. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. I think you could be up and down. I think that you're trying to figure out who it is that you know that's currently like in your life or you have some involvement with them. I think you're having second thoughts on somebody that you may have walked away from, right? So look at it like this. Walking away means a couple of things. I think you may have, maybe you walked away from this past person and you went into this new person that you just recently abandoned. And I don't know if you're questioning whether or not you made a mistake, but there is somebody you're going to end up um, flirting to. Out of darkness comes light. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Uh, listen, I don't care. Words line up for a reason. Hope. Out of darkness comes light. Extend your lighthearted energy. So, to me, this is signaling, Capricorn, that you need to wait as well. It's beautiful that you have hope, but out of darkness. So once you get out of this dark place, then it'll be time to open up your heart. To somebody that you most likely know already. Okay. Uh, let me just see. A couple of messages. Hopefully they're nice messages. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. A couple of messages from your person. Because I see new adventures. I see moving on. Wands is about creativity, right? So a couple of those here. But I do see you stepping away. Let's see what your person that you left is thinking. Or if you if or if the energy is reversing, this person left you. Let's see what the energy is for the person. Mm, oh, whoever they're thinking of. Ooh, let's start over. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Your kindness has changed my life. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. This person might want to start over with you anyway. So I don't know. Or you might be thinking of going on to somebody else because you had some. Choices, you probably had some commitment issues. I think you didn't know what you wanted, to be honest with you. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Quick reading. I love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. And uh, yeah, go check out your relationship, Capricorn, with whoever you were. 
I don't know, Capricorn him with. <laughs> I know it's worse. <laughs> Bye.